Tom. I understand that you got a busy life now. You don't know how proud I am of everything you've achieved. I mean, gosh, you wrote for the Esquire. I would say you made it, but I know you're set on much, much more. I I'm fully supportive. Please don't take this the wrong way. But this is also why I'm worried. Worried for you, Tom. Please don't hate me for it. But I talked to your mum. Why are you not going out anymore? She says you have your entire wall all covered in photos of serial killers, pages taken out of newspapers. <laughs> Maybe I'm being stupid. Newspapers, what you do. I'm going to meet with John Adler in about two minutes. Oh, I don't know what to think. Am I scared? Sure. But this is the job of a lifetime. This is what I've always wanted to do. This is what I've trained to do. Okay, that's enough talk. I should probably start going. Until next time. been done before. You poor boy. I see so much fear in you and yet it doesn't make me want to hurt you any less. We are carved out to kill and what you got now is a world that wipes your ass for you. You can weep and all, but I won't stop hurting you. Thomas Fatcher, that's your name. I bet you didn't expect this to happen to you. I usually don't do this, but but you fascinate me somewhat. Please, please don't kill me. I don't, I don't want to die. Please. All right, shut up, shut up. Funny you say that. You have a lot of pain to go through before you even have to fear death, and by then I'm sure it'll come as a relief. Trust me, I've seen it on the faces of the others. I just wanted to speak to you. I promise I wasn't trying to set you up. You're not getting this. <laughs> I didn't even let anyone know I was leaving town. You're not getting this. You being here is not a punishment. It's just a way it has to be. Please, I'm a human. I want to live! You're no different. You think you'd fight any more than a deer chased by a tiger? Please, oh god, man. Please, I'm trying to help you. I'm writing a biography about you. Biography? Like all the rest of them, benefiting on someone else's suffering. I can help you be understood. I'll write it the way you want it. <laughs> it means no one will misunderstand you. I shouldn't have done this. No. <laughs> there we go. Now you will be a nice, quiet boy. Ah. Let's move on, shall we? What? Oh. 
What now? Nothing. No, nothing. What? Please. No. Please don't kill me. What's up, Crime TV Crunchers? I'm here today, of course, to talk about none other than the infamous J.A., also known as John Adler, who has plagued Scotland for the last five years without fail. Today, I'm afraid to tell you that yet another young person has fallen victim to this devil of a man, and the details are quite haunting, so you are warned. Thomas Thatcher, known to his loved ones as Tom, was discovered in a forest, face cut up, blunt trauma to the head, fingers removed and his eyes gouged out. But Tom isn't the only victim. Indeed, there are 30 confirmed and possibly, God forbid, more. Let's dig into everything we know about John Adler. 